Today on Nerd Out, we're going to talk about some obscure TV shows you might not remember. AKA, my series Hey Remember Spoilers. Oh, Nerd Out, the show we nerd out. My name is Just Time, and today, like I said, we're going to be looking at obscure TV shows, or at least I'm going to tell you about some obscure TV shows that I thought were good. Now to make it on the list, I had to have seen it and remember it, and uh, feel like something that no one really saw. So I got my list, let's get to it. Starting with number one, we have Dino Sapien. Dino, Dino Sapien follows the characters at this paleontology camp, where they, they go to camp to learn about how paleontologists do their jobs, they get dinosaurs and all that, and they meet living dinosaurs, a la Jurassic Park, not really. If I remember correctly, they evolved to be intelligent. So like, Inu, I think is what his name was, that dinosaur could actually communicate to humans through gestures. And then there's two other dinosaurs that were actually like the villains in that. But this may be on the list because this commenter reminded me of it in my eight year search for looking for it. It's almost going to be nine years, maybe ten years. Next up is Unnatural History. This was on the Cartoon Network. Or this was on Cartoon Network. <laughs> it was part of Cartoon Network's live action phase where they decided to make some live action stuff before people bullied them to stop. Whole video, whole hey remember gonna be on just all the live action in general but this one was like pretty cool it wasn't like their other live actions where it was like reality shows and that this was like an actual like tv show with a plot and a story if all this kid named henry i think his name was and he traveled the world with his parents so he learned stuff like parkour martial arts uh, spear throwing lock picking etc etc and then his parents sent him back to america so he could experience a normal life and go to high school and that and then they have like cool stuff the main one of the main plot points i remember is they found sputnik which is the russian satellite that no one's found next up is one of cartoon network's reality shows which is less known uh on like destroy build destroyed and dude what would happen uh, this one was called the other siders which was imagine kids doing ghost adventures. Next up is another reality show, kind of geared towards kids. These are all from my childhood, so that's why I'm bringing these up. These are, this one's called Survive This. It was hosted by Survivor Man Les Stroud, and it was about teenagers with limited survival skills learning how to survive for like a grand prize or something. I don't remember how it worked, but it wasn't like Survivor. Next up is Code Lyoko. This is a French show that was brought to America and that uh, it, it's kind of like imagine Matrix in anime form, like Animatrix, but not that. Uh, but it stars kids and a kid hacker, and they uh, have to save the world. But the Matrix could send. But imagine the Matrix could send the agents out of the world. That's what this thing, or out into the real world. That's what this is. That's the best I could describe it. Next is a show from Nickelodeon that I actually found when I was about sixth grade. It was on Nick Jr. like late at night at 10 o'clock, so I had to stay up and watch it. It's called The Upside Down Show. Well, it was two guys, and they kind of basically just told a show about imagination. Like, they make sound effects, like a fly, their fly buddy was a, was a sound effect of them going, and then they just would just do stuff. And I just found out all the, season, all the episodes in their one season of airing are on their YouTube channel. Next up, this one's kind of t geared towards the older older folk, because this was before my time, but I remember watching it uh, recently. It's called The Red Green Show, and it's about this guy named Red Green who owns a camping lodge uh, on a lake. It's like a fishing, it's more a fishing lodge than a camping slash hunting, and he does DIY stuff. The DIY stuff is very dangerous. Next up, this one's a classic Nickelodeon show. This one's probably more well-known, well, besides Code Lyoko, uh, maybe to some of you watching, but Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. I don't really see much people talking about it. I just joined a meme shitposting group on Facebook about it. It's just a little, like, sitcom series on Nickelodeon that followed middle schoolers trying to survive middle school life, but I'm gonna say that show prepared me for more shit than actually happened in middle school, and actually didn't prepare me for shit that did happen in middle school. So, like, what the fuck, guys? Next up is my one of my favorite shows. I have no idea where to watch it. 
I want to try and find it. It's called Chalk Zone. It was also on Nickelodeon. It basically involved magic chalk, and the dude had his best friend was made out of chalk. It was chalk drawings. You draw it. Draw a portal into a chalk on a chalkboard on the wall, and that you go into the chalk zone, and then he could fight stuff in that. And then finally, I combine these two because they're both kind of the same because they're in like obscurity slash popularity. Uh, and it's 16 and totally spies. 16 followed just uh, friends hanging out at a mall after, or when they turned 16. It's also the show that really made me want to have a flip phone. And then totally spies is about three uh, three friends who are teenagers that are also spies. And they have a bunch of gadgets kind of revolving around like more feminine interests like uh, makeup, like lip lipstick lasers, so on and so forth and that. And then their their costumes were cool in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen that. But anyways, which ones have you actually heard of? I want to know what you guys have heard of in the comments below. Also, let me know if I missed some obscure uh, television shows. I might make some more. I might make another one to this later on. Maybe not right away. I might make another one. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Come Time Traveler Day. Links to all my social media are in the description below. Until next video, I'll see you in the future. Bye, guys.